Louisiana Beer Review's Bigfoot Ale 2022. This is a barley wine style ale introduced in 1983. There's the prospector with his donkey pulling him or his mule. And there's Bigfoot in the woods. That's why he's saying, beware, it's Bigfoot. Um, caramelized malt, two-row pale, cask Car caramelized malt, two-row pale, Cascade, Chinook, and um, Centennial hops. I couldn't remember. <laughs> um, this is brewed in California and North Carolina. Now, mine is probably coming from California. Okay. Package on December 8th, 2021. But it's for the 22 season. All right. I aged a few of these for five years and uh, they came out nice, but it just tasted like old beer, really. Didn't hurt them, but it didn't really enhance them. But it was interesting, an interesting project to keep them on in storage for five years. And I did it, what, three different ones? Oh, there's a very thick uh, I've. Uh, Beige head, maybe, with uh, some red tint to it. And that's a very red beer. Rust red. Yes, with an enormous amount of sediment throughout. Ascending bubbles in the sediment. All right. I don't know how many times I'm going to revisit this beer. I don't ever get tired of it, you see. 9.6% alcohol, 90 IBUs, 3C hops. Two different malts. It's a traditional craft beer. From the days before I started drinking beer of any sort, and for sure craft beer. Well, when I started drinking beer with this beer drinking project in February, February 1996, uh, I started grabbing all kind of macros, Mellow High Life, Budweiser, Coors Banquet, and then I was also grabbing craft beers, Samuel Adams, Boston Lager, there was one from Minnesota called Simpatico, um, and I tried those early on, and I, I just was trying everything. I didn't really. People ask me, "What did it? What got you into craft beer?" I say, um, "Oh, and I, of course, a Beta Amber and a Beta Turbo Dog back then. What got me into craft beer? Just seeing them on the shelves and buying them. <laughs> I don't remember anybody using that term really back then. '96, they would just say like." specialty beer maybe gourmet beer then that market sort of crashed in 96 and from overproduction and some of them like pete's wicked ale went away and then others came in you have these troughs sometimes but um then the term craft beer started coming into usage in the later 90s meaning beers that were just different from the american adjunct lagers which people were a little tired of now they've always made craft beers so-called back before or after Prohibition. It's just that they weren't popular until the internet, really, and the way to communicate back and forth with beer. They weren't that popular. They might have had beer clubs, but they were just local and people getting together. But the internet really exploded it because of access to information. Okay, here comes the heater. Well, let's hurry. Not much on the nose. Some hop action, like a bright hop hop resins which is like a fruity thing let's go to taste cheers it's 30 degrees outside beautiful clear so the heater will come off and on the furnace oh, it's so very strong in the bitterness 90 IBUs if you don't like bitter beers oh you'd hate it hop resins very strong sweet malts like dark bread crust but a strong bread crust. Sweetness scale, whoo. I have to say about four out of five sugar cubes. Bitterness scale, ha, oh, wow. Five out of five hop cones. So it's a very intense beer. Very sweet, very bitter. High, medium body, not heavy body, but high, medium. And um, a sticky dry finish. If you got this on your fingers, it would make your fingers sticky from all of the resins. Um, 
sort of like a glue even. Anyway, is this beer still an A plus? Oh yes. I might have scored an A in the past at times, you know, just like say 93 to 97 is what I score as an A, just an A. 90 to 92 is an A minus. Excellent, but just to an extent. And then A plus is just super delicious, outstanding beer, 98 to 100. <clears throat> Sorry for the noise. So yeah, I'm going to go with 98. 9.8 out of 10. 10, however you pronounce that word, ten, eh, ten, and um, people in the South have a tendency to pronounce it like ten, like a tin roof. I scored a ten, a ten, a ten can, but it's ten, ten. Oh, but anyway, um, fabulous product now do I ever score anything above 100 yeah it's rare those are called world I call world class above 100 like better than it should be better than it could be impossible like West Flatter in 12 that I reviewed in 2012 and I think we revisited it later on a friend of mine myself don't know if we recorded it um Black Albert yeah that's world class it's above 100 Nogano oh, Tokyo Black Horizon that was yeah 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 class and there's a f maybe two others I can't remember there might be five six that I've scored world-class since I started scoring in 2009 I did a year before I did video reviews I did written so anyway awesome beer and the price is oh so very nice for what you're getting so laissez les bon temps relay an outstanding barley wine style ale from America and I'm going to end this review by saying go to California Chico and tour the Sierra Nevada, Sierra Nevada Brewery.